Hey guys, it's your girl Lakia Maria and welcome to another video here on the channel. Whether you're new to the channel or an OG, I primarily share planning and organizational videos and today we are going to be setting up some budget savings with the items that I got from Dollar Tree. So I have six items here. I know that not every Dollar Tree has the same thing. Also know that with the rollout, not every Dollar Tree is still at that $1 mark. It's at $125, but still, that's a, still a good price point. So if you guys didn't see the haul, I'll have it linked below. But for the items that I'm gonna be using in this portion, I have this little savings box. I have this play money, I have this 40 count of envelopes, this 8 count of clasp envelopes, and then this coupon holder, as well as these index cards. I'm also going to pull in some of the scotch tape, the binder rings, um, and the Sharpie will probably be necessary as well. So. Let's go ahead and get started with the first thing. And I'm hoping that this work it's it's working in my head, so I'm hoping it's not a fail as I create it, but we're going to create it together. So, this treat yourself box here, I wanted to create a savings for it. And I went and got this play money specifically for this DIY. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I don't mind that it's pink. I don't really know the other colors that they had there, so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this out and we're gonna be using this portion to DIY with. I don't really care for the diamonds. I wanna put the money because I'm gonna be putting money inside of here. You can put coins in here. You can put dollars in here, so. I just wanted to have another little change option. I do have a jar that has change right now, but if you were looking to do like a $5 challenge or a $1 challenge, saving all of the singles and $5 bills you have at the end of the week or just dumping money into a container and counting it up at the end, same thing with change, this DIY may be beneficial to you. So. so this was like the quickest, easiest DIY. Of course you can use glue. I'm using double stick tape and I'm just laying it all over the cardstock that came with it and layering the money on top. I do have some hanging off in the beginning and I'm going to go in at the end and cut it all off, but literally just lay layering those fives, tens, ones the 50 the 100 just layering it all down and trying to make sure that all of them are going to be visible at least one corner of it so i can see the denomination of the money to make sure that it's all there and i tried to make sure that i taped it down evenly so that it didn't look 3d-ish when i put it back into the frame but y'all i absolutely love how this turned out and even if you are making this for yourself this is also a great little gift idea especially for kiddos that are trying to start their own savings so super easy cut off the edges and done voila look at that i love it i love how this turned out i could stick some dollar bills in here some coins what have you but there is diy number one a little savings box a little piggy bank just for you all right so diy number one was two dollars now this next one is really just a dollar we're going to be getting into sinking funds so if you are new to budgeting and don't know what sinking funds are you create categories of things you want to save for with the holiday season now being over don't wait until the end of the year to start saving you can start now you can set a budget a goal and amount or you can just set aside how much you want to put away at the end of each pay period whether you get paid monthly bi-weekly weekly you put aside an amount each week and then whatever you have at the end of your goal whether it's a three month goal six month goal or a year goal you have that money to use and you don't have to take it out of your regular paycheck so it's just breaking down a savings goal into smaller increments and you keep adding to it on a regular basis so 
These eight envelopes are a great option because they're super cheap. And if you don't want to commit to sinking funds, allow, I know a lot of people don't do physical sinking funds because they're like, I don't want to carry around money. So for me, there's two ways that you could do sinking funds. Well, there's three. Of course, there's the digital method. But as far as a physical option, you can, of course, get envelopes like these or you could use envelopes like these we're going to be using this for a separate savings challenge coming up so on the front of each one you write in the category that you want to be saving for you don't have to put an amount that you want to put inside of it but you're just going to write the category and then you can put actual money inside or you can get fake money Yes, Dollar Tree has some, but that's not like a lot. You can get fake money off of Amazon or you can use note cards. And every time you make a digital deposit, you can write on the card what it is that you're depositing and put it inside of the envelope and keep track that way. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up. So first, let's just do one for gifts. And this could be holiday gifts, birthday gifts, whatever. And of course, you don't have to use eight. You may want to put in more categories. Um, another savings one could be car maintenance. Another one could be travel. Slash vacay. I like to have one for self-care, things I want to do for myself, whether that's my nails, my hair, what have you. Another one can be entertainment. So if you are going out with friends or you have a show that you would like to save for, whether it's a concert, Broadway show, something like that could come out of this. And then how many do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five. Let's do one more. And we'll just do a regular miscellaneous. And the great thing about having one for miscellaneous, like a miscellaneous category, is that if you have something where you went over or you don't have enough, you don't have to go and dibble dabble into another category. You can come to miscellaneous and fill in what needs to be. So that's why I like having an, a miscellaneous category with my envelopes. So we have the eight envelopes. Again, you can use real money, play money, or the index cards. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. And how much you put in the envelopes, of course, is at your discretion. And what I'm doing with these larger envelopes, you can do the same thing with these envelopes. These smaller ones, they also have the larger box as well, but I decided to pick up these smaller ones. And with this, you would write out the same type of categories that you have, and then you would put the index card inside. You can put on this side, deposits. So you can put deposits of how much it is that you're putting in, and then you can put the date, so say on the first, you put in $20 into the entertainment. So you would put plus $20. And then on the 7th, if you went and took out $10, you'd put that. So that's a way to do it. But this is just the deposits. Another way is if you want to have deposits and then deductions. But putting deductions on this one, I feel like it can get kind of confusing so I'm just gonna put it on one and then if you need to add more cards you can so that's just an option there one reason I also like these opposed to these yes you can fold these types of envelopes in I'll show you 
Yes, you can of course fold these in, but I like that these are clasped. So if you are putting real money inside of it, then you know. And whether you're using real money, fake money, or no money at all because you have it separated into different accounts, I would definitely still implement this card system. If you don't want to use no cards, you can use a piece of paper, but this is just an option. So that is it for DIY number two. Let's move on to number three, the savings challenge. So now that we have the three options for the sinking funds, let's do another savings challenge. So you guys have probably heard of the 52 week challenge and I will show you an example of how the 52 week challenge goes. I have a printout over here from The Budget Mom, one of my faves. So the 52 week money saving challenge, each week, you put whatever amount is on the envelope into the corresponding envelope. So this is only 40 in here. So what you could do instead of doing 52 weeks, of course you could buy another box of these, but 52 weeks may not be what you wanna do. You can do it for 10 weeks, five weeks, six weeks. For the first quarter, if you if thinking of 52 weeks is daunting for you, you can just do the first quarter. So let's start off with this one. So I'm just going to do a few. Let's do let's do 12. So one, two, three. So here are 12 envelopes and you can easily put in the amount that is on the envelope when you pull it out or you can have a secret amount that you put inside of here whether you use a piece of paper or one of these index cards. So for the one envelope that you pull out it could be ooh I'm going to put $7. What a random number. but. You put that inside of here, and then it's like, all right, I pulled out one. How much am I gonna put in here? $7, and you could be like, I don't have $7, but I'm gonna do 10. So then you stick the $10 in, seal it up, put it in the back. You can also, once you seal it, put like a little dot so that you know you actually, you know, put money in the envelope move it to the back and then you would randomly shuffle these and pull one out so that's another way to do it but a lot of people how i have seen it done is that they will go in and just pull out an envelope for the challenge and whatever is on that envelope and some people pull out two envelopes so they may pull out say a number the six one and then the 10, so that's like, all right, I have to put aside $16, but again, you may want to round. So you may wanna put 10 in here, and it's like, I have the means to put another 10. So what you decide to put in the envelope is completely up to you and at your discretion, but using these types of envelopes, and I like these opposed to the super big ones because you can easily put the money in here. They take up less space, you can put them in a box. Or if you don't want to put them in like a regular, box and we're still keeping it frugal over here I'm gonna go ahead and tape this back up so if you don't want to put it in a regular box you can use the box that it came in I just popped this side open my bad I would definitely use stronger tape to adhere this like the crafter more double stick tape but you can open this up you can even cut this flap off decorate the box if you would like and then put the envelopes 
back inside and keep up with all of them that way of course there are containers that you can get from Dollar Tree as well but just to fully maximize this and what it is that you have and not have to go and get something else there you have it you can put them back in the original packaging another thing with the envelopes just to know if you're crafty like me you can use a lot of the stuff that is in Dollar Tree whether it's in the stationary aisle or if it is in the crafting like the crafter square section you can decorate the envelopes as well same thing with these envelopes here you can decorate them so i hope that you guys have found these tips helpful and useful i would love to hear your thoughts in the comments let me know what you guys think of both the saving challenges and sinking fun ideas that i shared with you guys in this video be sure to check out all the links in the description box for more information and related videos if you are not subscribed to the channel what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and for all of you that are i thank you i love you guys stay safe and i'll see you in the next one bye